Hey everyone, welcome back to Loopy Studio, and today I'm going to be doing another Which is Better. I know these are popular on my channel, um, and I decided today I'm going to be talking about two shows that I love, So, which means this is going to be a harder decision to make. I'm going to be comparing Friday Night Lights versus One Tree Hill. They're both sports show. One is about football, one's about basketball. They both have are centered around teenagers, mostly in small towns. Um, and yeah, um, again, I love both of these shows a lot. Um, so I'm going to start with Friday Night Lights. Um, this, so my experience with the show, I started watching it back in last June with my brother and it, we, I would just watch all five seasons. Um, I was hooked on it pretty much from the start. That first episode is a really good one. Um, I got a Friday Night Lights t-shirt for my birthday, a Dylan Panther shirt, um, and I really, I really liked the show. I thought I had a lot of good messages in it, um, Tim Riggins is my favorite, and I, I, I don't think a lot of people would disagree with that, um, but I think Eric and Tammy are a couple of goals, um, the character of Matt is awesome, the character of Smash is awesome, um, Landry's awesome, Tyra's awesome, I, really, I like all the characters, I would say probably Lila would be my least favorite character out of all of them, but even she's not awful, um, I think they're all relatable in their own ways, you know, um, of course the show has its flaws, like, Landry killing someone in season two it was kind of extreme for the show, um, season two as a whole of the show wasn't the best. I, I struggle with that season, but I feel like every show has their season that they struggle with. Um, and that was partly because of the writer's strike w was the reason why. But um, let me just read a little bit of background. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the show, it came out in 2006. There's five seasons. It's on Netflix. The little summary says Friday Night Lights centers on the rural town of Dillon, Texas, where winning the state football championship is prized above all else. Coach Eric Taylor guides the high school football team through pressure-filled seasons while dealing with struggles relating to his own family. The interactions between the team members, current and former players, supporters, coaching staff, and regular townsfolk address many of the issues facing small-town America. Um... So just to be frank, I am not a football fan. In fact, I am really not a sports fan at all. I could really care less about it. Um, so it's not, the football part of it isn't really appealing to me. Um, but I love the I, I I love a lot about this show. Like I already said, I love. I think the cast has great chemistry. Um, Eric and Tammy, played by Kyle Chandler and Connie Britton, they have great chemistry together as husband and wife. In fact. They might be one of the best couples I've ever seen on the show. Um, I mean, sure that they, they have their issues, but none of it leads to like wanting a divorce or anything like that. It's it's just a very solid relationship, and I do think a lot of couples like that is a good example to to follow. Um, I think I like how um, the characters they act like teenagers. Um, there's a lot of realistic stuff that happens to them, and there's a lot of like realistic struggles with like college and and you know love triangles and you know matt taking care of his grandma and and all of it and it's just really really good and like jason from the very first episode you know he he loses his position because he's injured um and how he reacts to that and it's just i feel like they the writing team did a great job with that show of making and not all about football if it was any more about football i would not like as much they they do a good balance between the team and the the personal stuff in their lives and i think what i also like about the show is that it's five seasons that's it there there's there's no dragging it out it's a perfect length for a show they have three seasons where eric is t is um uh coaching at um west still and technically or dylan high and then two seasons where he's coaching at East Dillon. So it's kind of two eras of the show. Personally to me, I prefer the earlier seasons more than the later seasons. But I think the show overall is really solid all the way through. Um, and I don't 
yeah, I I just like it. I just like the show. It's a great it's a great show. I highly recommend it. In fact, I think I don't have an exact ranking, but I want to say it's it's like on the top fifty shows of all time. Um, it's a really popular show from what I've heard. I feel like everyone has had to have watched at least one episode. Well, you know, like it, it, I just feel like it's just one of those shows, and um, so I yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, but I think that's kind of all I want to say about. The Friday Night Lights. Um, I'm super glad I watched it. It's a very addicting show. Um, even if you're not a fan of football, so One Tree Hill is what we're moving on to. Um, I started watching this back in 2022. My um, uh, sister recommended it, and my brother recommended it to me. They had watched the show before, and I watched it. And of course, I was hooked. They're they're both really addicting shows. Um, I have a Keith Scott Body Shop hoodie, um, and I also have a Scott sports jersey. I don't know which Scott it is. I think it's Nathan, but I'll have to check on that. But yeah, I, so I have some pro, I have some Wondry Hill merchandise. So when I get merchandise, you know I love something, because I don't get merchandise of many things. I, I did have some for Riverdale, but beyond that, it's not likely I, I get merch for stuff. But yeah, I I think One Tree Hill is um uh crazy. It's crazy. Um especially in the later seasons. So this show it's gone on for 9 seasons. Um it is on HBO Max, I think. Yeah, it's on HBO Max. That's where I watched it. But the little summary is the show is set in the fictional town of Tree Hill, North Carolina and initially follows the lives of two half-brothers, Lucas and Nathan Scott who compete for positions on their school's basketball team and the drama that ensues from the brothers' romances. So, of course, when you have a summary like that, you know I'm going to like it. Um, I would say this show is less sporty than Friday Night Lights. I want to say is it, it focuses less on the basketball team than Friday, Nights and the, Friday Night Lights and the football team. And I'm just going to say that because their storylines revolved around basketball, but really, it on, the basketball only follows Lucas and Nathan, and and with, with Dan and Whitey thrown in, um, and then the girls are kind of on their own. And Friday Night Lights, I find that everyone is kind of tied into the football world in some way. Um, it does feel a bit more knit and tight in that show than One Tree Hill. Um, but we also have cheer. We also have more cheerleaders in One Tree Hill because Brooke, Peyton, and Haley are all cheerleaders at one point where I think only Lila is a cheerleader. And, um, yeah, only Lila is a cheerleader in Friday Night Lights. But um, all that aside, we have Chad Michael Murray as Lucas and James Lafferty as Nathan. Um, so, yeah, it has it's another good cast. Um, this show is primarily focused on the teenagers, where Friday Night Lights is mixed. Um, we get... I think one of the advantages of One Tree Hill is the teenagers' dynamics with each other and how it does... I do like that the friendships in One Tree Hill better than in Friday Night Lights, and I think it's because they spend more time with them and developing them, um, where Friday Night Lights, you know, is a lot about, like, the coach and the kid. Is is That is a big aspect, and it's more... But what I will say is Friday Night Lights is more family-focused, um, One Tree Hill is less family focused. In One Tree Hill, there's a lot of messed up parents in that show, and in Friday Night Lights, there's its fair share. But I would say the the family stuff is more stable in that show. Um, One Tree Hill is its big weakness, I think, is how over the top it gets in the later seasons. Like a dog eating a heart. There's like a car crash every season. Um, there is point shaving in high school sports. It does go really over the top. Um, and I think their later seasons were, were not good at all. Like, season eight was awful. Um, and so I, I, what I appreciate is Friday Night Lights knew when to stop. They did their five seasons. They did a whole show's arc. Well, two arcs, really. And it was successful. One Tree Hill just could not stop. And I think there's a difference in streaming platform. Well, not streaming platforms, but in TV platforms and what they want. And maybe the CW just wanted to keep cranking out more seasons because it was popular and it maybe was different for Friday Night Lights and whatever it was on. I don't remember what exactly, 
uh, it was on, but I might be able to find it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's not, it's not really important. Um, but yeah, basically it's a tough decision. As you can tell, I'm, I, I was really conflicted when I was playing this video as to which show I liked better. And I'm going to say I prefer One Tree Hill. And the reason is, is that I find myself going back to that show over and over again. There's just something about it. I think Lucas Scott is a perfect example of a flawed character who is the perfect protagonist for a show. Um, I do not think he deserves all the hate that he gets, and that might be an unpopular opinion. I think he is my, might be one of the best main characters I've ever seen because they don't write him to be perfect. What I appreciate about both brothers is that they're not perfect. Um, they, they, they give them both flaws. And sure, Lucas has made mistakes. Nathan's made mistakes. They've all made mistakes. Lucas is actually my favorite character in that show. And that is, again, unpopular opinion. I think Chad Michael Murray is a great actor in everything that I've seen, pretty much. Um, and I, yeah. So, I, again, I do not think Lucas deserves all the hate that he gets, but that's just me. But, again, about One Tree Hill, um, kind of going back to why I prefer it is I like the friendships aspects of it. Um, I, I, I do think that um, it should have been shorter and it probably should not have gone past season six because when Lucas and Peyton left, it went downhill. And I know people try to say, oh, like, it was bad when they were in it. No, it... it I mean, they, they, Lucas and Peyton were not my favorite couple. I prefer Lucas and Brooke, which I know I'm coming at you with the unpopular opinions here, but, um, yeah, I, I just like Lucas and Brooke. And I think they, the actress really delivered on that chemistry because they were married in real life, um, for the first couple seasons of the show. But no, I think the first six seasons of One Tree Hill are truly gems um, I love the aesthetic of the show, and I love how simple it can be, yet crazy at the same time. Um, Nathan and Haley's marriage is goals, and, you know, they go through their struggles, but at the end of the day, they're always there for each other. Um, the characters of Mouth and Skills are great side characters. The the brother between Dan and Keith is, is really well done. So... Yeah, and all the relationships are really good. So I think it's just truly a great show. Um, Friday Night Lights is a is a great show too. Um, they're both really good, which is why this decision was so hard. But I always find myself going back, reading One Tree Hill articles, going back to the fan forum, and reading what people thought of the show. I always find myself watching fan edits of the characters and the couples. And I and that just kind of was solidified for me that I love that show so much. I I could over I could I overanalyze it all the time. I talk to my parents about certain stuff that happens in it. I rewatch it. Um, it's just truly one of my favorite shows I've ever watched. It's just so good. And Lucas and Brooke are one of my top five favorite couples of all time. So that's got to mean something. Where I don't think in Friday Night Lights. I mean. I think the co coach and Tammy that are 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 couple goals, but they're not my in my top five favorite couples. Um, but basically, yeah, comment down below which show you prefer. Um, I know, I think Friday Night Lights is a is the, the more preferred show, but I think it all comes down to personal preference. Um, so yeah, comment down below what you think. Um, what show do you prefer? So thanks everyone for watching the studio. Like, comment, and subscribe, and bye everyone.